टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दी टॉपिक दैट इज डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ फॉसिल फ्यूल्स सो दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द यूनिट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड इन दी लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव यू आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट दी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज सो दिस इज द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ लास्ट लेक्चर दैट इज डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ फॉसिल फ्यूल्स नाउ एज वी नो दैट there are main three examples of fossil fuels first is coal second is petroleum and third is natural gas all these fossil fuels are non renewable source of energy so this is the first disadvantage or the limitation of fossil fuels that all these are non renewable resources of energy now in coal there are four different category of categories are there first is peat lignite bituminous and anthracite peat is the poorest quality of coal and anthracite is the best quality of coal in petroleum three major products are there petrol diesel kerosene oil and in natural gas we have two type of gases first is lpg lpg4 liquefied petroleum gas and second is cng compressed natural gas now come to the disadvantages and the limitations of fossil fuels burning of fossil fuels so first disadvantage of the burning of fossil fuel is the emission of large quantity of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide so generally emission is in this carbon dioxide is there but carbon monoxide emission is there if the combustion is not complete so if the combustion is not complete then the product is carbon monoxide otherwise there is the large quantity of emission of carbon dioxide if we compare the emission of carbon dioxide hai na between coal petroleum and natural gas then the highest quantity of carbon dioxide is generated by coal then petroleum diesel petrol kerosene and last is the natural gas so per unit weight or per unit mass the carbon dioxide generated so if 1 kg of carbon is there hai na to it generates near about 3.66 kg of co2 if we burn 1 liter of diesel it generates 2.68 kg of co2 if we burn 1 liter of petrol it generates 2.30 kg of co2 and if we burn 1 liter of lpg it generates only 0.5 kg of co2 it means that out of all these coal generates largest or the highest quantity of carbon dioxide so this is one of the most significant hai na consequence of the fossil fuels next is now this large quantity of carbon dioxide cause global warming which consequently responsible for the climate change so we can say that burning of fossil fuels are responsible for the global warming and the climatic changes second disadvantage is burning of fossil fuels generates large quantity of nox and sox nox means oxides of nitrogen there are th- seven oxides of nitrogen and sox means oxides of sulfur so there are three oxides of sulfur these oxides further responsible for the acid rain these oxides further responsible for the formation of acid rain particularly h2so4 and hno3 so this is also the disadvantage of burning of fossil fuels next next disadvantage is mining activity hai na to extract fossil fuels mining activity is required and for due to this mining activity there is large area deforestation of large area would be there and due to deforestation it cause loss of global biodiversity and land degradation so we can say that fossil fuels extraction of fossil fuels 
also cause loss of biodiversity and land degradation. Next disadvantage is the burning of coal is the source of mercury Hg. है ना Hg here is mercury. तो burning of coal is the source of mercury in environment. है ना तो in coal there is the some quantity of mercury is there which after burning comes to the air and from air it goes to the aquatic bodies so and we know that mercury is the toxic heavy metal so this is one of the disadvantage or limitation of the burning of coal next is the problem of oil spills so the transportation of petroleum crude oil by the ships is responsible for the problem that is oil spills again oil spill is a problem and cause loss of marine biodiversity and a last disadvantage of using fossil fuel in this particularly the natural gas so if there is leakage of natural gas accidentally or anyhow then we know that in natural gas the main component of natural gas is methane which is about 70 to 90 percent and this methane is a greenhouse gas this methane is a greenhouse gas so we can say that natural gas leakage of natural gas is responsible for global warming so these are some major consequences of burning of fossil fuels Thank you.